next on Superhuman Samurai Cyber Squad. Hello, Ampere. In this show, Sid goes punk. You can just call me Wild Thing. Tanker goes nerd. Get it? <laughs> and Sam goes bad. So it's up to me to be the responsible one. Since none of you seems to be in your right mind, it's up to me to grab the reins here. And do this introduction. It's up to you to watch. Go! The evil Kilo Khan lives inside computer circuits. With the help of Malcolm Frink, he creates megavirus monsters to attack electronic systems. Meanwhile, a freak accident turns Sam Collins into Servo. His friends join forces in their samurai's attack vehicles. Together, they transform into the Superhuman Samurai Cyber Squad. Superhuman Samurai. They're gonna rip it up. A hero always makes the cut. Superhuman samurai. Superhuman samurai. You are strong and reliable. In times of stress, you can always be counted on to get the job done. Boy, that's me exactly. Tank, I've heard the same words used to describe a toilet bowl cleaner. I cleaned a toilet bowl once. First I sprinkled laundry soap in my hair and then I... Oh, oh Amp, save it for your memoirs, okay? Well, well, let's see what this says about Sydney. Okay, I punch in today's date. Okay, birthday? September 30th. A number of letters in your name? 14. You will soon break out of your shell. Wild times lie ahead for you. Ooh, ooh wild times? <laughs> oh, come on, guys. Wake up and smell the decaf. Sid, a wild woman? No way. Hey, it could happen. <laughs> Tank, my monstrously gullible friend. Look, it's a dumb toy. I mean, horoscopes are bogus. Actually, Sam, astrology, or the use of stellar phenomena to predict human events, started back in ancient Babylonia. Oh, yeah, yeah, and Jupiter aligns with Mars. Look, face it, guys. I mean, nobody changes that much. We are who we are. I had a pet rock once that changed into a pet stone. I rest my case. Amp will always be a space cadet. Tank will always be a macho jock. And Sid, you'll be a demure brainiac. And you? I'll always be a, a brave, studly do-gooder I've always been. Hey, can I borrow that for a second? I thought you didn't believe in astrology. I don't. I believe in heavenly bodies. <laughs> Hey, good looking. Hiya, sugar socks. Oh, hi, Mrs. Starkey. Um, I think I kind of meant Jennifer. What? You mean you think she's attractive too? Well, in a mind liquefying way, yeah. <laughs> well, aren't we galant today? As always. Hey, have you seen one of these? Oh, Patty's got one. Do it. Okay, I need your birth date. Zodiac sign, social security number, height, and bikini size. Sam. Okay, I'll leave out the height. <laughs> um, I'll just do it myself. Ha-ha! <laughs> it says here you're an outgoing and caring individual. How true. And you will meet a dark, fearless stranger who will rescue you from a pack of marauding apes. <laughs> and he will take you to his jungle. Do you mind? Ah, oh, jeez. According to my mother, I don't. I'm just joshing. I'm sorry, Malcolm. Not sorry enough. Hey, do you want me to tell you your fortune? Only if it involves you moving to Siberia. Just joshing. Personally, I believe we make our own futures, Sam. <laughs> For once, I have to agree with him. Stars don't control us. We are what we are. Hey, if you're done with that, can I borrow it for a minute? Oh, don't tell me you believe in stars now, too. Oh, sure do. Especially Meg Ryan. Mm. Hey, Miss Starkey, can I have a bag of pretzels, please? Yeah. 50 cents. Oh, I love these things. I got one last month for my 18th birthday. Want me to tell your fortune? Uh, sure. When were you born? 12.43 p.m. No, what day? Wednesday. 
Date, Amp. Date. This is Starkey. I don't think we know each other well enough to go out on a date. No. On what date were you born? Don't you think that's rather personal, Mrs. Starkey? Just give me the information. <laughs> April 1st, 9 letters, 5 foot 11, 0 positive, favorite color plaid. According to this, you are a winged nocturnal mammal who uses echolocation to find and eat insects. Oh. Then I guess I won't be needing these. I bet if I unscrewed his head, styrofoam chips would spill out. Earth to Kilocon. Come in, micromaniac. Kilocon is here. Conqueror of cyberspace. Master of the digital world. Put it in your resume. Now listen. I need you to launch a new megavirus monster. Very well. Show me, meat thing. Not bad, huh? Adequate. What is its function? It hides in a fortune-telling game. It makes people act the opposite of who they are. That is of no use to me. Guess again, Finhead. It can turn your enemy servo from Mr. Good Guy into Mr. Batty Two Shoes. I get what I want, and you get what you want. <laughs> then I can take over the human world. Acceptable. <laughs> Go, my child. Go to the digital game. That's it, San Marino. Hold on to that game tight. Because you're in for a little personality spin. <laughs> your phraseology you sound like a geek dear me look at the fab five how's it going oh, Ace? Poor <laughs> me. back off or i'll pound you into snail snot right tanker well personally I, i'd rather not get involved because I, I gotta get the computer club <laughs> you know what's with you wimps sydney these emotional outbursts really don't become you it's apparent you're struggling with some inner turmoil come we'll meditate <laughs> Sid was right, lover. Someone should teach Malcolm an extremely painful lesson in manners. Uh, I love to, but I think I hear my mommy calling. Oh, come on, brown eyes. Get up and fight for your woman. Oh, don't tell me you're a coward. All right, I won't. But you're bound here at some time. Oh, he's all jelly with no peanut butter. So, Jennifer, it's just you and me, babe. Malcolm, you're sick, twisted, and selfish. I know. I like that in a man. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I must use his power only for good. Mm. So, are you two done with the dishes? Thanks. Where's that little creep? I thought he had band practice. Well, huh. so maybe he's gone classical and he's hiding. Get it? Hiding? The composer? Get it? <laughs> Would you cool your jets, nerd boy? You sound like you're snorting mayonnaise. Since Samuel is exhibiting cowardly tendencies, it only stands to reason that he would choose his own dwelling to hide in. The obvious place would be next to that washing device. Come on. Oh, hi, gang. How are you? Oh, he's my 
Malcolm's still looking for me? Did you wake up, Snowflake? It's not you he wants. It's your babe. Oh. Yeah, he and Jennifer were smooching in the hall, so Pratcher gave him detention, and then they smooched there. <laughs> oh, oh, whatever makes him happy. So, Sammy, does this mean you're a free agent? What about Tank? Him? He's a loser. He's been acting weird ever since lunch. <laughs> me? What about Sam the sissy? Oh, well, I'm as strong as she is. Is that okay to say, Sid? <sighs> you can just call me Wild Thing. <laughs> Since none of you seems to be in your right mind, it's up to me to grab the reins here. Obviously, you've all experienced drastic personality shifts, and the only variable in our normal school day since lunch was this toy. Of course. It must be a digitally induced biofeedback algorithm. Would you speak English, geek? He means a megavirus monster, and we all know what that means. Ah! No! I'm not going in there! I can get hurt! Hank, no. fire up the computer. No. Sydney, get Samuel out of here. <laughs> Come on. Yes, sir, Bob. There's a big old mean one in there. Put this on. <laughs> Ready. And now Servo is too? Is it possible that Sam and Servo are the same person? Nah, get him, Virus. Get him, kick him once for me. Defeating Servo is not enough. I will inflict the final insult. Hear me, Servo. You are now in my power. From now on, you will serve only me. I am no longer Servo. I belong to Kilo Khan. Destroy! 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 <laughs> like, I have some good news and some bad news. The bad news is obvious, you jerk. What's the good news? Well, Sam's not a coward anymore. <laughs> <laughs> We've got to go in there and help Samuel. Oh, gee, I, I was going to work on my stamp collection. You're going in there, dweeb, or, or you'll never see these again. All right, I'll go. Just don't bend it, OK? Jeez. All right, Samurai's Neon program is launched. <laughs> Pump up the power. Let's kick some gigabyte. Right makes much. Fear not, good Samuel. We're on our way. Holy cheese whiz! Our drift speed is about 20 millimeters per second. That's about one billionth the speed of light. Cut the statistics. Nobody cares. We're going in. Picking on me? Not you, punk. The monster punk. Oh, okay. That's okay, then. <laughs> we will inevitably have more strength if we attack together than separately. So let's form up. Tracto, 
prepare to initiate the Samurai Xenon program. Okie dokie, my door. This is gonna be key. Right door here, moving into position. Resistance is useless. <laughs> you are my sworn enemy. Ah. Ah. Servo, don't! It's us! You don't know what you're doing! Will you listen to reason? Four, ah. go easy! Servo is our comrade! Well, he started it. I'm teaching this so-called superhero a lesson. Easy, boy. That's our friend. Yeah. Yeah, but somebody needs to knock some sense into him. Oh. Ooh. What is the story here, Kilo God? Every time we are close to a victory, you let it slip through your binary fingers. Silent, meat thing. I will not allow this Xenon to destroy my new slave. Be gone! Buddy, this punch is gonna straighten you out good. Hey, where are we going? My master is too powerful. You will never stop me now. Kilocon must have removed us from cyberspace somehow. Oh, and look, Sam's doing worse than ever. Oh, if there was only some way for Sam to stop playing Kilocon's game. Hmm. was the logical thing to do. No! Come back! You are my slave! Whoa! Kilocon, I am no longer your slave. Silence, impudent program. I will destroy you yet. How many times must I tell you? I'm not a program. That's why you'll never win. No! Computer programs are superior to meat things. I will conquer the digital world, and then I will control the human world. I am unstoppable. We'll see about that. chipper today. That's a radical change. And I'm not sure happy suits you. Mrs. Starkey, old girl, even your lame but still annoying bobs cannot affect me today. Yes, 
I am feeling chipper. And why, pray tell, is that young Frank? Because my sworn enemy is now a coward, and his girlfriend is now my significant other. Brain on the handicapped, I say. All's fair in love in high school, Mrs. Starkey. Well, you're top dog now, but don't get too smug. You know the old saying. Well? Oh, I guess you don't know the old saying. <laughs> Goodbye, Malcolm. <laughs> Say, aren't you the Phoebes with the split personality? Keep up the chain, Sid. I heard they're building a new juvenile jail. <laughs> Hiya, babe. Marginal improvement. How's Latin Club, loser? Fine. <laughs> Sam. How does it feel to be a grade-A homogenized wimp? And I've got your girl. <laughs> Jeez, oh. Malcolm, you must have gotten an old newspaper. I'm not a wimp. Huh? Oh! <clears throat> and I'm not a nerd. Yes! And I'm not a quarter-inch socket wrench. <laughs> and I'm not your girl. Jennifer! <clears throat> We've all changed, punk. Uh, then why aren't you nice? I am nice. That's why I didn't rip your face off. Oh! <laughs> Jennifer, does this mean our date is off? Jennifer! In the digital domain, evil doers may appear. Trouble starts brewing. A superhero will appear. Superhuman samurai. They're gonna rip it up. A hero always makes the cut. Superhuman samurai. <laughs> <laughs> Superhuman samurai. <laughs> Beat.